Hey, today I'm at Majimba Beach uh, in Queensland, one of the most beautiful beaches in uh, Australia. And what better place to tell you a little bit more about the most important ingredient to becoming a data scientist or growing as a data scientist. So to give you a bit more background about myself, uh, I started to learn uh, to program at 29. I have no computer science background. I have no uh, math background. Uh, and uh, despite it all, uh, I got some good jobs. Uh, I uh, managed to win a Kaggle competition. I wrote a book on machine learning. So there is a chance that uh, uh, I have a slight understanding of what I'm talking about. In fact, I spent the last 10 years of my life studying this. Uh, and uh, the thing that we will talk uh, about in this video is uh, something that Jeremy Howard, and if you don't know Jeremy Howard, you must have been living under a rock because he's a great educator, uh, he's uh, a great data scientist, entrepreneur, uh, he's somebody who contributed to the launch of modern NAP, NLP uh, that we are uh, so excited about today. Uh, and. Uh, uh, he also, well, first and foremost, he's a great educator. So through his courses, uh, literally um, thousands uh, uh, and thousands of students have gone through. And in his observation, this thing uh, that we will talk about today is uh, the main discerning quality that separates those who uh, study machine learning and go on to do something interesting and those who, you know, give up and, uh, and, and that's it. So uh, I will tell you what the secret to uh, becoming a data scientist is or growing as a data scientist in just a second. But I need to warn you uh, that uh, even when you hear the word, you, you know, you might not have a good understanding of what it means because the uh, popular take on it is, uh, is not what, the, what it's all about. So in this video, uh, I will walk you through uh, what this uh, thing is what it isn't and why uh, why it is important uh, because i want you to be able to tap into this superpower in your own personal life in your own machine learning journey and uh, also because uh, i want to uh, reinforce this with myself you know th th this is uh, the only thing that i have going for me actually uh, so when i was learning machine learning i didn't know uh, a single machine learning engineer in real life I learned about machine learning from Coursera. I didn't even know that such a field existed. Oh, wow, well, this will be interesting. There's a plane flying above. I'm not sure how well this will work with the audio, but all right. So, you know, so I had this single thing going for me and uh, I want to keep tapping into this um, uh, characteristic, into this set of actions. Uh, to continue to grow as, as an engineer, uh, as a machine learning engineer, as a data, data scientist. And uh, the only way to do it is to keep, uh, you know, hypnotize, hypnotizing myself via videos like this, via blog posts, convincing myself of the uh, value of, of this uh, um, outlook on life. And so this video, I'm recording it for you, but also partially for me. So what it is? Well, uh, the thing in question is perseverance, perseverance. But uh, uh, to make sure that we fully understand the term, we have to first look at what perseverance is not. So perseverance is uh, certainly not uh, intensity. You know, uh, when I wanted to get into running, I would uh, run every second day. Uh, I would, you know, run uh, five kilometers every second day. And um, that was definitely a high intensity for somebody who was just starting out. Uh, I also ran too fast. Now I know not to do it. But because of this intensity, my body start to, started to give out, essentially. I would start to get sick. You know, uh, I started to get uh, some pains. Uh, uh, intensity went against my ability to uh, continue to run. Uh, against perseverance. So this is, uh, this is key. Uh, right now, when there's something that I really want to do in life, um, you know, let's say I want to do well in a Kaggle competition, right? And I know that this will require perseverance, maybe over a short period of time, shorter than other things in life, but still. So uh, the key ingredient here is if I 
see myself going too hard at it. You know, I, I could literally probably sit at a computer and, you know, not go to sleep, whatever, for some amount of hours. But if I see myself doing that, I tell myself to stop because I don't want to expense all of my energy today. I want it to last me, you know, for, for the distance that I have to run. I, life is a marathon, not a sprint. So uh, perseverance is definitely not about intensity and sometimes intensity or very often intensity will actually go against perseverance. So uh, intensity is uh, something uh, that we have to be very cautious of uh, when we notice uh, this in our life, uh, when it comes to perseverance. Now, what perseverance is uh, not as well? Perseverance is definitely not discipline. So uh, there is this whole movement online. Uh, you know, people are essentially uh, praising discipline, uh, but discipline or willpower, as science shows us, willpower doesn't exist. There, there's uh, no such thing as willpower that you can tap into and uh, and make sure that you'll be doing something or taking some concerted set of actions over a longer period of time. So that's, uh, that, that, that just doesn't exist. And uh, willpower or discipline has definitely not had an impact on my life. The trick is to uh, figure out, uh, to, to, to tap into um, your characteristics, you know, uh, what you find exciting and uh, to modify the activity that you want to persevere uh, on. Uh, the, in a way that uh, the, the passion is there, the excitement is there, that you have your um, emotional energy, that you don't run out of it. And there are ways to do it. And I'll be, you know, delighted to tell you about them and to remind myself of what they are so that I can keep uh, tapping into them in my personal life uh, as well and in my journey as a data scientist. So now that we've covered the main points that uh, perseverance is not, uh, let's look at what perseverance is. So perseverance is something very simple. Perseverance is the ability to return to the same thing over and over again, over weeks, months, and possibly years. Uh, in this sense, this is a commitment, but it's not an intellectual commitment. It's not something that uh, uh, you know, we, we can say uh, intellectually that we will want to do it over uh, years to come and it will happen. No, we have to, uh, first of all, you know, uh, know ourselves well to pick a thing that uh, has a chance of being good for us and that we are genuinely uh, passionate about. Passionate as in, you know, th there is some way we can keep doing it. Uh, there is some way we can possibly modify the task to uh, be excited about it on an ongoing basis. This is the only way to persevere. So I know that I will persevere at making YouTube videos. If I can make it uh, fun for myself, if I can make it enjoyable for, my, for myself, if I can present uh, this task to myself as uh, something that I will be excited about. And what could this be? Well, uh, for example, I, I can listen to podcasts by um, YouTubers whom I admire, uh, who speak to the character traits that they needed in order to grow their YouTube channels. You know, and I might, I might, I might think to myself, yes, I want to be such a person. You know, uh, I want to develop those, uh, those character traits. This is, this is exciting to me. Self-growth is exciting to me. You know, uh, this is what I care about. And if I make the connection in my mind that, hey, YouTube can give this to me, then there's, there is a very high chance that I persevere. With machine learning, in my case, this was uh, rather straightforward because uh, I just fell in love with the field. It's, uh, it's uh, unbelievable to, you know, to, to see a neural network uh, converge. Uh, it, nothing in life compares to that, uh, uh, I would say. So, so the drive was there, but uh, I still had to do certain things to persevere. And, um, Part of that uh, was uh, convincing myself that, uh, you know, that I can amount to something in this field, that uh, it can be more than just a pastime. And, uh, you know, I'll be more than happy to tell you about that maybe in, in future videos, uh, the certain things that transpired in my life uh, and, and how I went about them, that in the end it all worked out okay. Um, 
but uh, you know to, to uh, keep the momentum in this video to keep the pace going uh, now that we looked at what perseverance is not what it is let's uh, cover uh, let's cover uh, why perseverance is important so perseverance is important for two reasons and the first reason uh, being that uh, um, you need to give yourself time to learn complex things you know and, and, and that's when life becomes exciting when you learn stuff that is uh, tough that many people you know they don't know how to do it you know essentially valuable skills uh, valuable skills that you can put to use in your life that you can maybe uh, that you can maybe market out to other people to, to companies you know that's uh, that's, that's pretty cool, I would say. But uh, uh, so why do we need to give this time? Because uh, mm, connections in our mind, in our brain, they form over time. So uh, even if you were to binge study something in a single day, you know, uh, then your brain, uh, like your mind integrates it all into your uh, previous knowledge. And uh, it's essentially a process like uh, building a wall brick by brick. And you cannot cheat it. There is... Uh, if you're a human being, and I assume that you're a human being if you're watching this, this is how your biology is wired, you know, how, how your mind is wired, how, how the biology works. So if you can keep uh, adding a brick to your wall of knowledge, uh, one brick over 300 days, over 500 days, that's when you develop superpowers. And they are not superpowers at all. They just seem to other people like superpowers, you know, that's, uh, that's how it works. Uh, and the second reason that we absolutely need perseverance is, well, if you're entering a new field, there is a very high chance that you will know how it works, how to go about getting from where, wherever you are to wherever you'd like to be, right? So uh, one way to combat it is getting a mentor, but that's also tricky. And uh, uh, essentially, uh, if you want to go from point A to point B in life, chances are you will have to try many strategies, many strategies, an extreme amount of strategies. Um, you will, might not get it on your you know, second attempt, third attempt, fifth attempt. So you have to keep uh, going to find the strategies that work, that, that work for you and that uh, you know, objectively work. Uh, mm, when it comes to the, those strategies, uh, for me, fast AI and the fast AI courses have been a major source of uh, strategies that are just mind-blowingly effective but uh, many of these things i will want to cover in these videos assuming i keep making them and you know uh, i'm doing my best to persevere um, but uh, i believe that's it for today so listen if you enjoyed the video uh, please give it a like please subscribe i have many more like this coming and i'm now going to catch some waves so thank you so much for listening have a wonderful day see you soon